Bueno, y eso así, pibe. Bueno, y eso así, pibe. Naomba Utulibu, kwa Heshma, ya Mzea Melala, Ze Eliud Marende. Meaka tusaini na mitano ni ushindi mkubwa. Ni ushindi si ushindi. Kama ni ushindi tumshangilie kwa makofi kabisa because he has lived a full life. Uh, and I think it's Paul who would have said, I fought the good fight. I finished the race and kept the faith. Na katupa kijana speaker marende. Kwa hivyo tumekuja kumwenzi huyu mzee na kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa maisha yake. Speaker Marende amepata sifa na yeye mwenyewe kwa maombolezi yake. Ametaja vile kama sio baba huyo na ukiangalia uh, program hiyo. Huangalia hiyo picha nzuri. Utaona <laughs> Mzee Marende alijizaa kwa huyu speaker. Yaani la kuja na mama yake. Si kweli? Eh ni ukoo hiyo kabisa. And that's why he feels strongly about this matter. My brother we have come. We have come however small in our little way for you to know you are friends. My own wife kutambua sana yote. Kwa hivyo we are one big family here Kenya. Na huku Luanda Vihiga County Tuapongezeni sana Bishop ambaye amesema kwa kutuweka akili zetu pamoja na vile Biblia inavyosema ukiona hizo nywele nyeupe ni akili nyingi sana na experience. Wanakwaya asanteni kwa wadilifu kwa kisha kwamba mzee ambaye amepumzika anapata heshima yake. Kwa hivyo tuomba radhi sana. Tuomba radhi kwa makosa yote yale ambayo pengine tumeyafanya kwa mazungumzo na hata kwa mafikira. Lakini hivi hii ndio hali ya nchi yetu wakati huu. Anja nchi ambayo inataharuki. Lakini tujipe moyo tupige hata moyo zetu tupige tujipige konda sasa kwa sababu duniani kote kuna mabadiliko hewa ya mabadiliko inabishabisha hata hapa kwetu una kijana mmoja ametoka mali na ingawaje sio tabia wa watoto wadogo kuazika wazazi openly nataka kamao wa jinsia kuji hapa tumeona anasinzia wewe mtoto JC on behalf of the young people kuja tu hapa wale watoto ambao wametajwa hapa ambao waliuawa kwa sababu ya kufanya haki yao kia maandamano kufanya maandamano ni haki kikatiba ambayo zote tunaishifu katiba ya 2010 huyu kijana ametoka all the way from Kiambu sio amefika hapa hebu yenoa tu mkono ama uje uonekane eh aonekane tu come over Kijana mdogo. Hey, Simama, jump. You can jump, sio? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uko salama. Comrades power. Comrades power. Kijana Ria. Kijana power. Sitaongea mengi familia ya speaker. Very esteemed good person we met. Eh, uh, uh, Monas watu wa hapa Vihiga bali sana nimetembea mbali. Lakini acha niseme hivi, machache kama rais. Ah, that's it at 30 seconds. Thank you. Usione Simba amelala. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kijana JC. Wana mambo yao. Na hapa tuki tukipumzisha mzee Elio. Na yeye tayari ayuko hapa. Kile ambacho tukanacho hapa ni mwili mzee ameenda kwa hivyo sisi tujijali sisi wenyewe and i want that uh, just give me one minute nikamilishe 
naomba tu tulipu kidogo kwa kona ile ile kona ni ya zakayo ile hivi tunavuzungumza vijana zaidi ya sabini na wawili wamelala walipigwa risasi na polisi wakafa risasi ni ya serikali ambao nafiatua risasi hawa ni wale ambao meajiriwa na mali ya Kenya in fact ambao wanatoza ushuru ni wananunua hizo bunduki na hizo risasi na kualipa mshahara askari wetu lakini tangu vijana waangushwe Kenya nzima na wale wengine wakashikwa kinyume na sheria wanawekwa kwa buti ya magari hapa tunazozungumza wengine bado hawajajulikana mahali walipo nimesoma taarifa ya inspector general wa polisi akisema pengine wengine wao wanahofia kushikwa tangu vijana wafe tangu Ruto abandilishe hiyo sheria ama withdraw na hata kuvunjilia mbali serikali yake baraza la waziri ni siku nyingi sana kama mtu alikuwa anajificha jameni mnataka tuamini bwana Kanja kwamba ati watu bado wanajificha na wanajua haki yao ya kikatiba ni vizuri tuambiwe ukweli kama watoto pia waliuawa kwa mikono ya polisi tunataka na chio Kenya dunia nzima hata waziri wa mambo ya nje wa nchi ya Marekani ambako juzi amefanya maajabu yao wakamchagua president Trump ni ile na, nasema hewa inabadilika kila mahali Blinken amempigia Ruto simu akamwambia mambo ya kuchukua watu kushika watu kiholela ingawaje chini ya serikali ya Biden ambayo iko sasa hivi itakuwa mamlaka hadi tarehe 20 Januari Biden atatoka kwa mamlaka Trump atarudi kwa mamlaka wanamwambia hii tabia kushika wa Kenya ovyo ovyo na kuwaweka korokoroni na wengine kuuawa kinyume ya sheria lazima ikome hawa ni watu wa nje lakini sisi wenyewe wa Kenya tusemaje wangapi wanasema tutaki vijana waowawe tena wakiuawa Ruto and his government will be held responsible wangapi wanakubaliana na maoni hayo wangapi wanasema tunataka tusikie polisi angalau wawili watatu wamekamatwa wamepelekwa mbele ya mahakama kujibu tumiaje mbaya wa bunduki na risasi za Kenya kwa hivyo mambo kabla hayafanyike we cannot take it for granted mimi nasema kwamba ndugu yangu wa paranya eh namweta omwami omwami waliingia kwa hiyo serikali ya broad based eh wakati aliitwa tulikuwa na yeye <laughs> kwa ofisi yangu akaniambia omwami angalia simu eh omwami sitaongea nini kuambisha lakini ulituacha kisha ngoja niende ninarudi tangu waparanya atoke nimempata hapa leo <laughs> hey. lakini rafiki yangu sana waparanya na mheshimu sana waparanya lakini uziwaje nikamwambia ndugu yangu uliondoka bila taarifa hey. ungerudi kana sasa nimeenda lakini namuelewa naelewa hata shida ya baba mwenyewe aliyokuwa na naelewa kwa hivyo ukiona kule ni kubaya oparanya uone vile watu wa vihiga kakamega ingo yote wanaona wataki ufisadi Kenya hii wanataka uongozi bora hawataki serikali ya kujipiga kifua ukiona ni kubaya usikubali usingojie kiumane tuungane tuwapeleke nyumbani si namna hiyo lakini kwa sasa afanye hiyo kazi bora Hatuna ubaya lakini sisi tumezoea kukaa ngumu kwa sababu ya wananchi hawa. Imesemekana mimi na wakati wa kibaki tuo tu akaanza na kijana wa Malwa 
Ahamwe awamu ya kwanza akibaki na hapo katikati mzee Mudi Awori ambaye is growing is aging gracefully anatoka pia Western Province mzee tunamheshimu sana na mimi pia nikawa awamu ya kumi the 10th vice president kama my brother speaker Marende I'm told you are the 10th edition of the speakership there's something unique about the 10 first of all you don't get old and you don't get tired bado kuna energy kubwa sana ndugu yangu huyu Ken Marende tutafanya vile tunasaidiana tumesaidiana hapa awali sometimes Ken and I'm happy that none of us became speaker ali nisema onemeniaribia okay i have to say today eh ilikuwa ile tu tuone how do we manage this loss wizi huwa chebukati how do we manage it i'm quite sure if i had continued all the way to be the piano makaratasi kwa speaker senate ningeshindo wewe unaona vile ilienda but god is god atuwezi kufa moyo kwa hivyo tutajikakamua tutafanya pota hapa tukimheshimu huyu mzee tuta we commit ourselves to friendship sasa imesemekana wazi hapa kuna shida kwa idara ya afya inaitwa shaf ship atujui nini yani wizi tu kijana ambaye ameaga kushero anakotoka rafiki yangu barak muluka hapa kushero anaitwa malik badala apatiwe matibabu yanayofaa chini ya NHIF akafa mimi Malik wanakufa na hatuwezi kusikia kwa hivyo hatuta hatuta kubali sisi ndio sana sisi wapinzani wakati mmoja kumbukeni tulikuwa one Kenya lines ilikuwa ni mimi Kalonzo Musyoka na Waipa ilikuwa ni ndugu yangu <laughs> Moses Masika wetangula rafiki yangu kabisa wa Ford Kenya ala alikuwa mudabadi musalia mudabadi tulikuwa mweta ma DVD wa NC wao wakasalimu amri wakaenda kwa Ruto nikabaki peke yangu ala alikuwa anabaki na mimi na waparanya na sasa eh unaona waparanya lakini waparanya zitamtafuta usiku najua kwake nyumbani waparanya zitamwachilia but i'm very happy for your senator senator kijana usosi na kutolea heko na kutolea heko sosi ya deputy leader tumewahi kuzungumza na usosi usikubali inchi iende mbaya ukiwa senator now we as we speak here tuko na azimio la umoja one kenya party leader wetu ni president na mstaafu uhuru kenyatta party leader huyo amin pari chama ni uhuru kenyata party leader ni Raila Molo Odinga hivi tunapozungumza mimi hata sina cheo kwa azimio la umoja lakini nimeshikilia wenzangu angalau tudhibiti inchi inchi siende mbaya eh kwa hivyo mimi sitaenda njia ya rafiki zangu hao hata kama tutabaki wachache namna gani hao ndio tutakomboa Kenya hii now rafiki yangu mmoja ameishaguliwa president wa Botswana ameanzisha coalition inaitwa umbrella kwanza ya umbrella ndio ndio simbo ya waipa <laughs> amechaguliwa Trump amechaguliwa kwa sababu kusema ataongeza ushuru Botswana high cost of living akachaguliwa kwa kura nyingi hata yule alikuwa anataka awamu ya pili kama Ruto alipata viti vitano peke yake. This was last week. Kwa hivyo hiyo hewa ya change watu wetu wa Western Kenya, Kenya hii ingo watu wa malembe na wasii tushikamane. Na tusiwe tunasema tu eh juu ya kikundi hiki ama kikundi kile. Let us now the church has also learned this lesson that we the remnant of the church can stand for what is truthful and what is just for the sake of this nation. Kwa hivyo na I see na na wasi kila mmoja wetu hebu angalieni elimu imeharibika. Mimi nikiwa waziri wa elimu this is a true story 
I was presiding over graduation at Moi University. And we had now to allow Moi University Ikubali Maseno University, Ianz. And I gave the example, if you don't allow Maseno to now become Waende Waowe, there's such a thing katika mienende yetu kama uh, wa Africa. There's such a thing as if you don't get to Mishana Mpatie, and I look, <laughs> and I end up bila ku, kulipiwa garama. And that's how Maseno became a chartered public university. University of Moy is on his knees. And I want to thank Mwishmua Pawaso, Mujumbe Wenu Hapa. Sio mambo ya juzi ya maile ya kusema laza kawa shuke, even as recently as yesterday, Mwishmua Maungu alikuwa na kwa nakamati wa kusema, Moy University has to be saved. Na hii ni problem ya kabila. Yuli angekua vice chancellor wa Moy University, anaitua Professor Ayiro. Akaweko mwingine pale kiukabila, <laughs> hameharibu. Amearibu University, Moy University. And that's one of our best universities. Complete with private investment. Kama hile River Tech na wengine. Lakini wanashinda kuthibiti. Ata ilimu yetu. Kwa hivyo waja maa. Tuombe mungu atuweke hai. Tumuenzi mzea pumzike ya meenda kabla yetu. Walia uksalia tushikamane. Tuokue Kenya yetu. Kwa hivyo. Mimi naona tu nikome hapo Niseme jumatatu Mimi na Eugene Tunaenda kwa mahakama Kupinga andani Andani tunampinga If you may not know this Kama wakili have the right to make appearance And this time I chose a senior counsel To make, to lead the team Ya kukataa na wanja wetu wa ndege Usiende na yoktu wa naetu andani Because you need respect your Kenya Wafanyikazi wote wa Kenya wanafanya Kenya yapo sa authority na kuingineko wako katika hatari ya kutojua atafanya nini So, mimi naomba tuni komeshe hapo na ni watakie neheri watu wa Vihiga County ata governor wenu wa Tichilo used to be my officer when I was a minister for environment O Tichilo amesoma sana mambo ya remote sensi na mambo mangi hai Yeah So we will work together Kila mahali Mimi ni kwa nyumbani Goja tituende tumuteme pole Kwa hiyo familia nyingine Na muturuhusu kwa heshima Kwa amin kwa rosafi Tuende na mkamilishe wala mba waja ongea Na mungu wa linde Mungu wa pamoja nani Bwana yesu wa sporudi Wakati mungine na mkina umana Mungu wa nasema why don't you come Kuna muimbaji mwaja alimba Yesu kuja usitumane Kuja ya mwenyewe Mambo ni magumu, maisha ni magumu. But he is still God. Wanaesha sikini.